हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हर्षम अली खान सो ऑलरेडी थ्री यूनिट्स आई हैव कंप्लीटेड इन द सब्जेक्ट अकाउंटिंग फॉर मैनेजमेंट यूनिट नंबर थ्री फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एनालिसिस रेशियो एनालिसिस कॉमन साइज स्टेटमेंट एनालिसिस दिस वाज इन यूनिट नंबर थ्री यूनिट नंबर फोर कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट एंड यूनिट नंबर फाइव सीवीपी एनालिसिस एंड स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्टिंग these are the topics i have already completed in third fourth and fifth unit now i am going to start unit number 2 in this unit number 2 i am going to explain you about the financial statements of a business concern how to make the income statement and statement of financial position or profit and loss statement and balance sheet so what are the rules all these things we have in this unit number 2 so before starting uh, take the screenshot of the points which i have written then i'll explain the detailed contents of this unit number 2 now first of all what are the contents first i'll explain you about the contents of this unit number 2 first of all distinction between capital and revenue expenditure without segregating capital and revenue expenditure we cannot make the financial statements so the prerequisite of making the financial statement is a student should be clear regarding what is capital expenditure what is revenue expenditure and in examination very frequently they will ask a theory question explain the differences between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure secondly depreciation very important item in the financial statement is depreciation it's a non cash expense and it has to be provided to find out the true profit to find out the true financial position because every business will use so many fixed assets non current assets by using those assets the value of the assets will decrease so uh, the second topic is the regarding the meaning concept of depreciation and the methods of calculating depreciation thirdly preparation and presentation of financial statements so there is a technique there are the rules of preparing the financial statement so that i am going to explain thirdly trading profit and loss account and balance sheet these three are the financial statement which every business will make so how to make the trading uh, trading account how to make the profit and loss account what is the purpose of trading account what is the purpose of profit and loss account what is the purpose of balance sheet and with adjustments many adjustment will be given like closing stock outstanding income outstanding expenses income received in advance or expenses paid in advance prepaid expenses similarly some adjustment regarding depreciation profit or loss on sale of assets bad debts provision for bad debts all these are the adjustments so we are going to solve a number of problems on profit and trading profit and loss account and balance sheet including all adjustments next provision of the indian companies act regarding the preparation and presentation of financial statements in india all the companies are regulated by companies act 2013 so companies act 2013 has given the provisions how to make the financial statements of a concern so in this unit i am going to explain you the format the format of preparing the profit and loss statement and balance sheet given by companies act lastly external auditors report then the report of board of directors and the disclosure requirement that means the report the auditors report the directors report and finally the voluntary disclosure requirements these are the complete contents of this unit number So first of all in this video i am going to explain you only one aspect that is distinction between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure remaining topics in the coming videos i'll explain so first of all capital expenditure what is the meaning of the term capital expenditure capital expenditure is the amount incurred in acquiring the fixed assets 
or non-current assets. We can call it as fixed assets or we can call it as non-current assets means same. So amount incurred in acquiring the fixed assets or non-current assets or adding to existing non-current assets. That means amount spent for addition to the existing fixed assets. That is also a capital expenditure. So specifically capital expenditure is the amount spent for acquiring or improving the long term assets or fixed assets or non current assets. We can call it as long term assets or fixed assets or non current assets. So amount spent or in acquiring amount spent on acquiring or improving any of the fixed asset, non-current asset or long-term asset. This expenditure will result in an increase in the earning capacity of the business. Why the business will incur capital expenditure? By incurring capital expenditure, the earning capacity of the business will increase. And examples of capital expenditure are amount spent on acquisition. Acquisition means purchase. Purchase of land, building, machinery, furniture, vehicle, etc. These are the examples of capital expenditure. Amount spent on purchasing land, building, machinery, furniture, fixture, vehicle, etc. This is the meaning. Secondly, revenue expenditure. Revenue expenditure, any item of expenditure whose benefit expires within the year or expenditure which merely seeks to maintain the business or to keep assets in good working condition is a revenue expenditure. So any expenditure whose benefit will expire within a period of one year. That means when we incur expenditure during the current year, we will get the benefit in the current year only. The benefit will not accrue for a long period. The benefit will expire within one year or expenditure incurred in maintaining the fixed assets. In maintaining the fixed assets or non-current assets in a good working condition. See, once a fixed asset is purchased and used, then definitely it requires some maintenance, repairing, etc. If no maintenance or repairing is incurred, then the uh, machine will collapse. The machine will break down. So we have to keep, uh, we have to incur expenditure on repairing, maintenance. That is a revenue expenditure. And examples of revenue expenditure, examples of revenue expenditure are, examples of revenue expenditure are, uh, any expenditure incurred in normal course of business such as administration, selling and distribution expense. These expenses are recurring in nature. Recurring means repetitive. Again and again. If this expenditure will not be incurred only once. It will be repeated. Like administration expenses like salary paid, rent paid, electricity bill, telephone bill. All these are recurring expenses. Like salary will be paid every month, rent will be paid every month, electricity bill, for telephone bill every month. So these expenses are recurring expenses. It is called revenue expenditure. So I have explained you the meaning of capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. Now in examination you may get a question like what are the differences between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. So in a tabular form. I'll try to explain you about the differences one by one. First one, capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. Capital expenditure is non-recurring in nature. Non-recurring means non-repetitive. It will not be continuously every month we incur capital expenditure or every periodically we incur capital expenditure. No, once a while we purchase. For example, a machine is purchased. The life of the machine is 10 years. Till 10 years the machine goes on, no need to again and again buy the machine. So it's a non-recurring, non-repetitive. Whereas revenue expenditure is a recurring expenditure. Means again and again. We have incurred the revenue expenditure current year, again in the next year we have to incur. Again in the next year we have to incur. So it's a recurring expenditure, re repetitive expenditure. Secondly, capital expenditure involves acquisition of fixed assets or addition to existing fixed assets. So purchasing the fixed assets or non-current assets, any, any term you can use. So any amount spent on purchasing the fixed asset 
or adding value to the existing fixed assets. Already fixed assets are there. If we additionally invest some more amount in the fixed asset, it is called addition to the existing fixed asset. That is also a capital expenditure. The revenue expenditure is day-to-day -day running expenditure. Continuously day-to-day -day, or uh, every month or every week, every now and then, we have to incur the expenditure continuously. That is called a revenue expenditure, repetitive expenditure. Thirdly, capital expenditure gives benefit to the business for a long period of time. Once capital expenditure is incurred, now this expenditure will give the benefit for a long period of time. Example, a machine is purchased for rupees 10 lakhs. Now it is estimated that this machine will give the benefit for 10 years. The estimated life of the machine is 10 years. That means we are purchasing only once, but we are going to get the benefit up to 10 years. This is an example I have given. Simply, expenditure incurred, capital expenditure incurred will give the benefit for a long period of time. Whereas revenue expenditure gives benefit normally for a year. If we incur revenue expenditure during the current year, current year only will get the benefit. Next year, again, if we want the benefit, again, we have to pay the revenue expenditure. So benefit only one year in revenue. Benefit for a long period of time in capital expenditure. Next, by incurring capital expenditure, the earning capacity of the business will increase. In order to increase the income, in order to increase the earning capacity of the company, the business will purchase fixed assets. The business will incur capital expenditure. Simply, by incurring capital expenditure, the earning capacity of the business will increase. Whereas, the, by incurring revenue expenditure, the earning capacity of the business will be maintained. The earnings will not drop. The earning will be continuously maintained by incurring revenue expenditure. Now, capital expenditure relates to purchase of fixed assets. <coughs> so, capital expenditure relates to acquisition or purchase of fixed assets and also to include the improvement made in the fixed assets. Whereas, revenue expenditure relates to maintaining of fixed assets. We are not purchasing, but we are maintaining maintenance expense, repair expenses. This will come under revenue expenditure. So acquiring the fixed asset, capital expenditure, maintaining the fixed asset is a revenue expenditure. Capital expenditure is recorded on the asset side of the balance sheet or statement of financial position. Now where the capital expenditure will be taken, where the revenue expenditure will be taken. Capital expenditure will be taken under assets in the balance sheet or statement of financial position. We can call it as balance sheet or we can call it as statement of financial position means same. So in that statement of financial position under assets, we will take capital expenditure. The revenue expenditure will be taken on the debit side of profit and loss account or expenses. The revenue expenditure will be taken under expenses in the profit and loss account or income statement. We can call it as profit and loss account or we can call it as income statement. In this expenses, under expenses, will take revenue expenditure. So simply, capital expenditure goes to balance sheet and revenue expenditure goes to profit and loss account. <clears throat> Next one. Examples of capital expenditure are purchase of land, building, plant and machinery, furniture, fixture, equipment, motor vehicle. Examples. Examples of capital expenditure are land and building, plant and machinery, furniture, fixture, motor vehicle, equipment, etc whose benefit will accrue for a long period. Whereas examples of revenue expenditure are payment of salaries, payment of wages, rent, telephone bill, electricity bill, payment for goods purchased, goods purchased for resale. The payment made for goods purchased for resale, that is also a revenue expenditure. So <clears throat> I have explained you seven points, which shows the differences between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. So if you watch this video two, three times, definitely you will get all the points in your mind.
and easily you can write in examination. So without distinguishing the capital expenditure and revenue expenditure, we cannot proceed to make the financial statements. So inshallah, we'll continue the next topic in the next video. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, share my channel among your groups, among your friends, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and buy the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, the next topic will continue in the next video.